That's right. Thank you. That's right. My name is Amir. It's just short for a miracle. Yeah, check this out. I got my name a miracle because when I was born, my mama said I was in a miracle baby. Found out later <laughs> that just meant I was a damn trap baby. Yeah, she even teased me talking about, it's a miracle your daddy stayed. <laughs> you don't know, trap baby means your mama trapped your daddy with your ass. <laughs> yeah, who's trapping ass up in here tonight? <laughs> yeah, trap that ass, girl. <laughs> Put a baby in her butt. Put a baby in her butt, sing a crowd. Put a baby in her butt, come on. Uh. Put a baby in her butt, louder. Put a baby in her butt, come on. Put a baby in her butt. Make a butt baby tonight. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, you guys are gonna make some beautiful butt babies out here. <laughs> Yeah, look, I'm not only a comic, I'm also the only black and Middle Eastern R&B artist in this room right now, so. Yeah. I'm mixed with black and Lebanese. So if I was like a Microsoft font, you could call me Arabic bold. Yeah, see, it's funny if you went to college. Yeah, it's a smart-ass crowd, hell yeah. I see a lot of romance in here, so I'm gonna show you guys what my R&B like, because it stands for rhythm and baba khanoush. So guys, go ahead and get that arm around your lady. <laughs> hell yeah, you're killing it, dog. <laughs> Ladies, you can grab your man too by his nuts. Let's go. <laughs> we don't have any nut grabbers in the crowd. <laughs> Ladies, if you're not grabbing your man's nuts, they might already be in your purse. <laughs> All right, I think you guys are ready. Black Arab rhythm and baklava. Get ready, ladies. You're gonna get super pregnant to this shit, so it's really romantic. Three, two, one. <laughs> Yeah, girl. <laughs> Thank you. A lot of you look confused as hell right now. I know some of you guys are thinking, like, how do I get my girl pregnant to this damn music? All right, give it to your girl like this tonight. All right, guys, take notes. You got to go like this. <laughs> You pregnant, baby, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. A lot of you guys are just looking at me confused like, since when did Brittany Griner stop running and tell jokes? <laughs> hey, don't laugh so hard, okay? <laughs> Brittany Griner is the WNBA girl that got arrested in Russia, you know, for smoking that weed. Me and Brittany got stuff in common because Brittany's six foot nine. She got a men's shoe size of 17. She got a bigger ding a dong ching tong dum in the middle. <laughs> but the main difference between me and Brittany is, uh, come on, let's be honest, I'm way too pretty to go to jail. <laughs> if you didn't laugh, then you agree, shit. <laughs> I used to live in uh, North Hollywood with a super jealous Latina girlfriend. Yeah, you guys know her? Fuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she was jealous as hell, bro. She wanted to hire a PI to follow me around, you know? A private investigator to follow me around. I wasn't even cheating, you know? Not really. <laughs> so guys, yeah, I didn't know how to dump her to her face. It was hard to break up with her. So instead of dumping her to her face, I relocated to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah. Yeah, I'm up, Bye-bye. 
<laughs> I love Vegas. I'm so proud of my city. Guys, I've been here a few years. Las Vegas is leading America in race relations right now. Can you believe that shit? Yeah, we're leading the world in race relations. We're the only city where young black men are leaping over the courtroom benches <laughs> to really get to, to get to know their judges a little bit better, you know? Like, if you guys saw the footage, everybody saw it. This brother flew over the bench and hugged the shit out that white lady judge. He hugged her with passion like, bitch! <laughs> right? Not quite the vision Martin Luther King had for us. But shit, he is the first inmate with a Nike endorsement deal. That's progress, baby. We gotta go play blackjack together, guys. Hell yeah, I love blackjack. You know, historically, it's a French game, and you know, I think that's why it's so sexual. Blackjack, yeah, because when I play, I hit, I double down, and I bust. All right, here's my impersonation of a French guy finishing after sex. Oh, 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 I boost. <laughs> I am a huge Lenny Kravitz fan, if you can't tell by looking at me. Ladies, uh, Lenny Kravitz, that body is shredded, ain't it? Sexy man, shredded as hell. My body, like shredded beef tacos. <laughs> Lenny Kravitz, I love Lenny because he's also mixed too. You know, I I'm a blay rap, black a rap. You know, he's black and Jewish, bluish. You know? <laughs> I love Lenny Kravitz so much. I named my cat. Lenny Kravitz, just after him, you know, after the artist. And I'm pretty sure my cat is also half Jewish, too. <laughs> yeah, my cat likes to hiss at me in Yiddish. Meshikada! <laughs> I love my cat, Lenny Kravitz, man. He likes to do this thing where he jumps in the tub, you know, and hang out in the tub. But the thing is, guys, come on. I do my shaving in the tub, you know, I do my manscaping hairy business in there, you know. Guys, he, last time he, he jumped in the tub and rolled around in the hair. And then he looked up at me looking like a rabbi. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, curly sideburns and a soul patch. I was like, get out of here, this ain't Temple, little Lenny. The guys, he stopped coughing up fur balls, though. Now he just coughs up my dreadlocks. <laughs> no, of all the guitar players that ever lived, Jimi Hendrix, hands down, the best ever. All right, Jimi was the best. You know, fun fact, he was in the army before he blew up. And when he was in the army, he wanted to get out early, so he told his officers, he was homosexual to get out early. Because back then, if you said you were gay, you wouldn't get a dishonorable discharge. You would just get released with a light spanking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also a big fan of Nirvana. Kurt Cobain, one of my favorite singers of all time. Remember that song, Teen Spirit? All right, so when he came out with that song, that was about teen angst, you know, about kids being really angry at their parents. He found out after the song came out, Teen Spirit was already the name brand of a girl's deodorant, Teen Spirit. Yeah, which is also the favorite scent of R. Kelly. <laughs> yep, that's right, R. Kelly and Puff Daddy. Uh, yeah, they made a song called Satisfy You. Yeah, one of them beats their women and the other one pisses on them. <laughs> yeah, that's one way to satisfy somebody. Speaking of satisfaction, I was just in a Hawaii. When I was out there, I met this gorgeous island girl. She was so beautiful, you guys. I never would have guessed this girl was hooked on meth. <laughs> Apparently smoking meth makes you cute as fuck. 
You guys look amazing tonight. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, she was so fine. I wanted to move to Hawaii and start a family of pineapple babies with her ass, you know? But I didn't get to hook up with her, so I wrote a special love song for the girl that got away. Now, before I play this song, it's a very romantic song. Ladies, you're gonna get super moist, okay? <laughs> now, before I play it, I want some energy from this crowd, you guys. Give me some noise, let me hear y'all. <laughs> Our love is like a dormant Hawaiian volcano. It never blows. Like a lazy girlfriend. Ha, ha, ha. All right, guys, if you can relate to that song I just played about not getting enough sloppy toppy from your lady, clap your hands one more time. See you. I'm proud of you guys. A lot of you other guys also wanted to clap. I think you're either too smart to clap or scared. So, <laughs> don't worry, I'm gonna help this whole crowd out. I'm gonna help all of you couples in here get some extra loving gobble gobble from your lover tonight. <laughs> One person gave a shit, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are weird. You guys acted like I was gonna do it myself or something. So I'm gonna give you guys some advice. I'm gonna be like your beige Dr. Phil right now, okay? You know, like, what were you thinking? Like, Does that resonate with you? <laughs> that guy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> all right, ladies, back me up on this message, because I'm going to talk to the guys, all right? Now, fellas, if you're having trouble getting BJs from your lady, just try washing it. Some of you guys didn't like that one. All right, guys, if you didn't like that, this is the most important part of my message, fellas. Uh, uh, you got to wash the balls, too. Bing bong, bing bong, bing. Sing along time, girls. Uh, wash the balls. Wash the balls. Sing it, girls. Go. Wash the balls out of girls. Sing it. to wash the balls, baby. Sing it. Wash the balls. Come on, girls. Go. Wash the balls. Thank you. Your enthusiasm blew back my dreadlocks, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, don't trip. Tomorrow we'll sing clean the coochie. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. Guys, let's do it again. After the girls say wash the balls. Guys, we're going to scream out. No, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who means this shit the most in Vegas tonight, you know? Come on, wash the ball. Sing it, girls, go. Wash the ball. Fellas. Yeah, boy. We got musky balls. 